Adding a links list to your website gives you a place to hold links that you provide for the visitors that come to your site. To create it, I can go to All Site Content at the bottom of the Quick Launch, or I can go to Site Actions and all, view All Site Content, or a third way to get there is choosing the More Options. So I'll do that one this time. In the list that comes up, scroll down and find Links. And this is going to be the links to the videos I'm creating. I could do the more options and not have it show in the quick launch, but I'm going to have it show over there and just click the create. You can add links here, but I'm going to use my navigate up to go back to the site because I want to add it as a web part. Go into Site Actions and Edit Page. Add a web part to the right zone. Since I have created the links list, it is a choice now to add. So I click the Add button. It comes up with a default number of columns and headings. I like to change those because if you have four columns in a small area, it gets a little bit crowded. So I go to the drop-down menu and go to Edit Web Part. You'll notice that the title of it is the title you gave the links list. In the taskbar that comes up on the right, under the Current View, there's a link to edit the current view. I'm going to click that. And here are the things that were chosen. I'm going to take out the type and the edit and the notes. Uh, you can't really change the URL to title. I wish you could. Uh, they don't have that one as an option with the uh, SharePoint 2010. So click OK. And then it just gives you the title of the link that you would have available.